And we continue to follow our top story tonight, the passing of longtime Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson at the age of 80. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper continues our team coverage. He joins us live from the Oakland County District Court in Pontiac, where Patterson served as prosecutor for 16 years. Rudy. Hey, Brian and Amir, the flags here at Oakland County already at half staff, as you can see behind me for Brooks. His impact on this county stretched far beyond politics. He was a mentor to several people who say they wouldn't be where they are without him. He was only a phone call away whenever I needed him for something. George Miller's personal relationship with L. Brooks Patterson dates back many years. He says in 1995, his then boss became a friend. He was a fun person to be around. Uh, my wife and I often uh, did things with him outside of work. Miller was Oakland County's health director under Brooks for years and is now executive director of Rainbow Connection, which Brooks founded nearly 40 years ago. The Rainbow Connection grants wishes to Michigan kids with life-threatening medical conditions. Miller says it shows the heart Brooks had for those facing tough times. When you think of it, if, if you're a parent and you have a child that's battling a life-threatening condition, wouldn't you want to give them the world is really the way he looked at it. Brooks touched lives far and wide. Former Lions tackle Lomas Brown remembering his commitment to public service. That's a huge, huge loss. He's legendary. We're going to miss Al Brooks. Although Miller can't call Brooks anymore, he says his memories are forever. Brooks Patterson, we will miss you. And many people sharing their special memories with us about Brooks. We have those posted on our website, WXYZ.com. And coming up at 7 o'clock, we talked to the Oakland County Treasurer about his special relationship with Brooks. Live in Oakland County, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.